you were born and raised here, huh? What? You were born and raised here? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 39. But we don't tell anyone that. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking if you're old enough to be my... No, I guess I would have had you at 14. I'm 53. You look like... I thought you were like 30. No. 25. No, my sisters are your age. You tell me, um, what else do you do? Your marketing and everything? Yeah, we have an email marketing company called Juggle Mail. And we also uh, work with startup and emerging companies. In the what? We work with startup and emerging companies. What uh, is... Uh... As a business and development company. So we develop a lot of media, including video. And uh, in addition to video, um, I was the investor relations director for a company. Help what? raise money for that company, and so what do you I call do a lot what of, do you call it? What what do you call your company? It's Commentary Media Group. Oh, so it's your company. Yes, along with my partners. Hmm. So where did you learn to do all this stuff? I learned from a uh, actually learned from a, a, I was walking through the park with my mom and my parents. Uh, when I was doing theater in Balboa Park and I met a guy who juggled and I basically asked him to teach me how to juggle and that's oh, how it Oh, that's how it happened. I'm looking for a... Do you still do Balboa? What? Do you still do Balboa? I have not been in Balboa Park performing for about five or six months now and it's only because of the way the permit system is working. Um, yeah, uh, the, the guitarist there, the one without uh, yeah, arms? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, he was saying something about permits or something. Yeah, the permit system has uh, gotten, because of a combination of both the recession and the typical summer uh -huh. uh, influx, we always get a lot of people coming in during the summer because they, you know, it's summer. Um, and uh, so people think it's good, but in actuality it's so hot, it's actually not. Really? Oh yeah. You don't have as much visitors? No, there are visitors, but it's too hot. So... Oh. <laughs> I mean, one of the rules of um, street performing is being able to move a, move people emotionally in order yeah. to get them to appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. And heat doesn't really. Yeah. I can just imagine. Really yeah, it doesn't. Past 80 degrees. Yeah. You know, even 75. It really does this. That's that's that at Balboa. I thought it's a little bit colder there. Oh no, it does. Yeah, absolutely. But oh. it doesn't matter if it's too hot and humid. It you know. Very people that's don't why, stop. Know, musicians do well in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anything that's strolling or relaxing will do well. I always bring people, and I said, "She's not. He's not here. He's not here." I wanted, and then somebody told me you were at the Seaport Village. Yeah, we're at C and then I'm at Seaport when I when I can be as well. But we've been so busy with the other business that uh -huh. I have not. And again, it's hot. Uh -huh. Typically during the summer, if I, I, you know, I, we're taking it easy during the summer only because if there's no contract, but mm -hmm. I don't, admit, I don't, we don't really do much contract work with the uh, theme parks anymore. So you were with the theater group in uh, San Diego sometime? I was with Lambs Players Theater for three years mm -hmm. in Coronado. And I did a show with Starlight and I grew up at San Diego Junior Theater. Uh -huh. You can tell um, what you do, your, your business and whatever, because a lot of these are business people. You know, tell them more about, you know, I mean, you just know you're in a, you know, group of prospective clients, too. What's that? What's Stop. that? Look! Look, look, look! He's going to do some, some uh, stuff. You know, my friend actually told me you can stay at her place too, at her house. I mean, so you don't have to spend for a hotel and right. accommodation and, you know, and then you can ride with us because I'm uh, riding my my van if you, you know. Yeah, I have friends. I do have friends in Vegas. Okay, so. But it's the travel. That's Guys! Yeah, you're going to lose. I know, I understand Guys, you're going to lose something? hours. <laughs> when are you coming back? Um, Sunday. Sunday? Yeah, because, you know, I. That's not too bad. Yeah, we leave Friday and then we come back Sunday. You know, probably my classmates are just gonna uh, convoy. What class was the? It was St. James in the Philippines, was it? Or yeah, St. James High School in Subic Sambales. 
And it's like last year there were like 500. Can you believe? Oh, I it's mean, a general gathering of everybody. Yeah, not oh, not just batch. Not just it's, one class. it's a high school. Right. But the, it's not just one class. Yeah, and the high school is 69 years now. So oh, you can just imagine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's his ball. You can just touch it and stay there. Don't take it anywhere, okay? I don't want him to lose any of his stuff. Look what he's going to do. Look. Look. He's going to do some juggling. But the time I was in the household, my dad was, my dad was. So you were born here. I was born here. Oh. And so were my sisters. And so was my mom, actually. <laughs> Father came over in 47, 48. Oh. So nobody among you speak Tagalog? No, Filipino. Just, just my dad. Oh. <laughs> just because by the time he was in the household, I mean, he. But when I was growing up, he was doing musical theater and opera. Mm -hmm. So that's where he spent his time. And then that's where I spent my life. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna help him? Yeah. Almost, almost. Almost, almost. Now let's do the other side. What? How many years are you with, with, with Subway? Long time. 20? Yep. Hey, <laughs> Kia. How about my sister? You were. My sister, brothers. Are you. Were you. Younger in Subway than my sister? Yeah. Oh. I thought you were here before her. Oh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. David Kamatoy. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I just want to let you know, I met uh, David, uh, I first saw him at the Balboa Park. He, he performs there with all the other artists. Um, and um, I was so impressed. Siempre, kasi Filipino. He was, he was... Filipino? Yeah, he's Filipino. I was born here in Santa Cruz, Laguna. Oh, he's like Filipino, him. but uh, you know his gig was was good because he he's good. I, I like a juggler that talks. He's a comedian too, and he's a businessman. He owns. Uh, tell about your oh, business. Oh, an email marketing company, and we also I work with startup companies for about twelve years, but um, doing everything from raising money to blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> entrepreneurs. We do everything. <laughs> yeah, he's an entrepreneur. He's a comedian. He's a juggler. He's an artist. Uh, he was in the theater. Which theater? We were with Lambs Players Theater in Coronado for about three years. So, yeah, and I grew up. My dad, my well, my dad is actually uh, a lyric tenor. So when I was growing up, he was singing at Starlight and uh, at the opera. So you sing? No, well, it's a little bit, but Dad does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all it's right. It's only funny because I grew up, uh, you know, like in Balboa Park. In the cottages, I don't know if you're familiar with all the cottages in Balboa Park, the international cottages. You know. And so, if you know that area, it's it's very funny because, you know, it's like houses from the Philippines and Ireland and the United States. And my dad had such a beautiful tenor voice that it didn't matter what house he walked into, they wanted him to sing. So, you know, here I am, this 10-year-old kid walking in with my dad, heavy, you know, Filipino, Filipino. Uh, walks into, uh, you know, the the uh, House of Ireland, and they're like, sing Danny Boy! <laughs> yeah. so, so Filipinos like, are talented like, people. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to see Shasha? <laughs> yes! Yay! Yay! Well, we're going to do some tricks for you guys as much cool. as I can with the limited space that I've got, and also I'm dealing with the...